Hi everybody, welcome back to the Kid Friendly Video Channel. Thanks for coming back to watch all our videos. If you watched the video yesterday, you saw we made Hit and Run. Two of the Demolition Derby cars, the Crazy 8 Series. Uh, hit, one of two. Run, two of two. I made them using Gremlins. Remember the cars, two Gremlins? Uh, they are a perfect match. I just cut the roof rack off and painted them up to match perfectly. And while we did yesterday's video, we also did Primer Jeff Corvette. Okay, number 24. Now here's Jeff Corvette, the regular one, number 24. See the number 24? And I was gonna, I didn't know what to do with Jeff Corvette. I was gonna prime him, or just leave him primed, or paint him as a zebra. And someone suggested I do Chase Race a lot. So I looked up Chase Race a lot, and there is Chase Race a lot. And I said, wow, he looks a lot like. Actually, it looks quite a bit like um, Jeff Corvette, and I noticed the number 24, and I said, wait a second, that's the same number as Jeff Corvette. Can you see that? Jeff Corvette's number 24, and then I remember the name on the on the car, Vitaline, so I went back and looked in the rest of the cars, and I found an original from Cars 1, Vitaline, for older active cars. See that? This is number 61, Vitaline, from Cars 1, the first race, and I said, wow, it's a perfect match. What I can do is I can paint him green on the the whole car green and the dark green and then the spoiler dark green. It's almost the exact same car and the wheel's nice and green. So I'm gonna do this here today. That's what I'm gonna do. So if you're, this is your first time coming to this site, what we do is we take cars from Pixar cars and we turn them into the uh, anything else actually. We got Miss Fritter, the regular the regular Miss Fritter, but we also have an old Miss Fritter over here. We turn it into half of the Miss Fritter is zebra and flip it over half of Miss Fritter is rainbow and I know a lot of you guys saw these videos and you know what this guy is this is pizza plant delivery truck and over here we have zebra series cars we have a whole bunch of them here we got zebra the king that's our latest zebra king zebra and uh, zebra chick hicks another favorite my first zebra series was mater uh, zebra lightning mcqueen you have to have him zebra sir miles axelrod Zebra Doc, everyone's favorite, Doc Hudson, and Zebra Sarge. Now, I, I uh, have other uses for Sarge coming up soon, but uh, I'll get to that another time. And here we have a lot of the uh, Demolition Derby cars, one of my favorites of all time. This is Mater. I crushed him with the hammer and hit him and painted him up. Looked like Demolition Derby Mater. Demolition Derby Jimbal. Sorry, this is Jimbal. Okay. And over here we have High Impact, which is actually Chick Hicks. The police car, APB, is actually Boost. See the Boost tanks? I cut the spoiler off. And this is Bill number 86. This is Leakless. And uh, let's see. Sig Alert, Ramon, Pile Up, all smashed up in the back. I used a hammer and a crowbar to make that. And Fair Game, the only car not out yet. Oh, yes, Fair Game is a taxi. He was in the Demolition Derby. And we have our homemade Chester Liquid Filter number 15. And our homemade Francis Belt line, which is Cruiser Mirrors. Okay, and we got a whole bunch more. I'm not going to go into it right now because there's so many of them. Here's Cruiser Mirrors. That's fabulous Cruiser Mirrors, number 51, in honor of Doc Hudson. And here we have Cruiser Mirrors' trailer. Check it out. This used to be Mac. Now it's a Dynaco, number 51, trailer. And oh yes, of course, who can forget Jackson Storm Holler, a homemade version. This is actually Dynaco Holler, and inside, the original Jackson Storm. I need some more Jackson Storms because people want me to make... Um, Zebra Jackson Storm, Cruise Jackson Storm, all kinds of different versions. So keep the comments coming, folks, and keep your uh, ideas coming. I use them all, I read them all, I'll get back to you. So let's set up the paint right now, and we'll get the green out. Well, this is actually Primer Jeff Corvette. I'm gonna paint him dark green. First, we're gonna mix our paints up to get the right color. I'm gonna do a whole video someday on mixing paint to learn the colors, how to get the different colors. So let's get going, and we'll, I think uh, what happened is, this is actually the color, okay? That's the nitro, the vital line color, that dark green. Uh, and the roof and the sides is a kind of a lime green. So let's get that going right now. It looks like there's white here, green wheels, green body, and white in number 24. That's going to be the hard part, the small writer. Let's get the paint out now. Okay, I got some paint here. It's called Leaf Green. Uh, it's kind of looked quite a bit like it. I'm going to have to use two coats of it. Um, let's have a look. It's very close to the... I'm going to do the whole car with Leaf Green then, okay? And then we'll see how it looks. I'll put two coats on to make it nice and deep. So let's get the paint brush and start painting it. Well, you know what? It's a bit... I'm going to put a little tiny bit of yellow in that just to change the color a little bit. It's just not the way I like it. Let's see if I can get a little more uh, limey green. A little bit more. Hmm. 
Mm, not much difference. I need to put some white in it, I think. Okay, we'll mix that up, see how it looks. That's better. It's like a light greenish color. And then the top, the engine hood and, and the sides are a really dark green. Okay, let's try that now and see how it looks. Okay, here goes. I'm definitely gonna put two coats on. Oh, that's better. It's really nice. And the wheels are dark green as well. Well, this color too, so. I have to put two coats of this. And then there's a little gray strip across the front. And there's a white stripe. All these little hard parts are the, the detail, which I find really hard to do with these brushes. And I'm holding the, the car right in front of the camera so you guys can see it all. And um, I'm trying to focus on the camera and the car and the talking, which is really hard. Somebody said I shouldn't talk at all, which is probably a good thing. But um, I gotta keep you guys informed of what I'm doing all the time. And there we go. Keep your suggestions coming, folks. I never would have thought of Chase Race a lot, except for that guy sent it in, and I said, wow, it's the exact same car as Jeff Corvette. I'm gonna do the whole thing green twice, and then I'm going to um, put the dark green on. That'll be a lot better coverage then. I'll try and keep the windows from being covered. I'm very sloppy when it comes to that, but it doesn't really matter too much. Wow, nice. Doesn't matter in the big picture, eh? Like, oh, that's good. Okay, and I'll do the back. I wish I knew what color the back was. I don't have a picture of the back of them. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I know it was, um, wheels are green. That's what I have to watch out for. Don't forget the little wheels. And try not to make a mess of them. Okay, yeah, the first coat's gonna go nice. The second coat will make it really nice and rich. And I know some of you guys are now painting your cars. Um, send me a picture of what you did. If you can do that, if you can't, just let me know you're painting your cars. It's a great idea, lots of fun, and it's um, very easy to do and not very not very expensive. You got all your paints at the cheap dollar store or the other dollar store, only a dollar, and some brushes, five brushes for a dollar. And if you don't like the color, hey, paint it again. That's what I'm gonna be doing soon, painting some of the old cars I've already done, different colors, okay? So there's the first coat. I'm gonna try and do Two wheels now and two wheels later, okay? Somebody suggested I blow through the wheels, and I did, and it sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't work. I'm gonna try and get this so it's not on the tires. And... That's not too bad, see, that guy was right. Okay, now I can do the other side. Uh, it's gonna be hard to hold upside down. I can do it though. The hard part is getting the paint off the tire. Most of the times I don't even bother. Okay, so there's the two front tires. I'll do the two back tires when I put the second coat on. Okay, so let's uh, leave this dry and we'll come back in a few minutes and uh, put the second coat on, then we'll get serious about painting it. Okay, that first coat came really nice. I'm gonna put another coat on just to make sure it's nice, nice and rich and thick. Oh, I got some more in the tire. Well, I'm not having very much luck keeping it off the tires, so. It's just so much easier just not to worry about that right now and just get the car painted and see how it looks compared to the, the picture to make sure I can do an, a reasonable job of creating the exact same car with another car. I can't get over how good Hit and Run came. They came, I used Krems like I said, and they came out looking just like the real Hit and Run. And uh, that was a great suggestion. Uh, somebody told me that, good idea. That's where I get all my ideas from, from you guys in the comments. And one guy, I forget his name right now, sorry, I was supposed to give you a shout out, but I don't have the, the screen in front of me, so I can't. But I get, Ryan, I think his name is from Ryan. He said, give me a shout out. And I said, okay, if I have the thing, it's Ryan something. Thanks for the idea yesterday, hit and run. So it works out sometimes when you give me the right suggestion, I'll make the car and it turns out really nice. Gee, not gonna have much eyes left soon. Keep covering with paint. Okay, flip it over, and I'll do the back tires before I finish up this time, and then we'll leave that dry. And then we'll get right back to putting the dark green on the engine hood, and the dark green on the sides, and try and get a nice smooth white pinstripe, which is really hard for me to do. I'm not doing anything really fancy, as long as it's really close. It looks nice near the back. I like to put those little red lights in the back too. Corvette lights, they're pretty cool. 
And maybe, I mean, I don't have a picture, but I might make the back bumper green. I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm going to do it green. Okay, folks, we're almost done here. It's drying as fast as I'm painting it. If you notice that, the car's really warm because I have it up in the heat lamp to dry. And it's drying really fast, <laughs> especially now because it's really warm. Okay, now do the back tires. Back wheels, I mean, sorry. Green. There's no, I was trying to figure out how to do this easy that it doesn't get on the tires, but I just can't think of a way to make it without getting on the tires. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I could paint the tires black. See, perfect. Okay, now the other tire. The other wheel, I mean. Let's see if I can get that one as nice as the last one. A lot of smart people out there giving me suggestions, I'll tell you. Thanks very much. There, let's put this up to dry in the heat lamp and then we'll come back and we'll put the dark green on the engine hood and on the spoiler and on the sides. And then we'll put the white stripe on and we'll paint the number on. The um, dark green on the side is almost, this is what they call a Christmas green. See how that looks, put that right here. It's not dark enough, so I'm just gonna add a drop of um, black to see what happens. It might be too dark to put a drop of black in. There you go, now stir it up and see how that looks. doesn't take much black to completely change the color. And you know what, I think I got it. One drop click out there, I think I got the right color. Watch. Look at that, that's perfect. I'm gonna leave that for a minute while the other car, while the car dries. Then I'll come back and put that engine hood part on and the sides. Okay, the two coats have dried. And now I'm gonna get the, uh, the dark green right here and put it on the engine hood and the sides. Okay, let's get this brush this brush right here we'll try that okay here goes now the hard part is keeping everything straight straight across the hood and down towards the front see the engine you can hardly see it Paint is drying almost instantly because it's, the car is really hot from over in the heat lamp up there. Okay, and it goes right across here. That's gonna be okay. I wouldn't need two coats, that's for sure. Because I'm actually putting the second coat on as it's drying right now. Okay, that came pretty nice, uh, except for that part. Perfect. Okay, now the sides, it's kind of like, um, it goes, starts at the fender here and goes down to the bottom, right around the wheel. And then it kind of goes up um, straight back towards the back under the mirror and up to the back tip like that. And then goes down to the bottom. And there's a white stripe goes along that right here i'll do that later and then number 24 goes in there a little speck okay see if i can get this back here okay and the spoiler is actually green dark green okay that's nice and i'll do the same on the other side without to get my fingers in it okay and it goes down like this at uh, the front wheel sorry and then goes right back to the back and then down on an angle like that. And the white stripe goes up along here. And let's see, there's a, a 24 on the top uh, in, in green letters, but I have to put a white triangle on there first. And there's also, um, the bottom of the car is actually dark green too, right there. And spin it around again. I missed that on the other side. Okay, here goes, right to the back. And right here. Okay, I also have to get some gray for across here and some gray for the headlights. Okay, let's leave this dry and come back in a few minutes. Okay, I'll put some white right here. Don't need much white, uh, just a little bit. But I'll get some gray too for his headlights. And I want to get some red too for his taillights in the back. That's enough, okay. Okay, it's all pretty dry now, so I'm gonna paint the white stripe right along here and on both sides here's a white paint I'm be very careful with this here it starts right up around here and goes straight down the whole car right to the bottom 
and I have to get number 24 written in there somehow. And there's actually a triangle on the roof. I'm gonna make that, if I can, start to the middle of the roof right here. Oh, sorry, the hands are in the light. I'll do that again. Okay, here goes. Starts in the middle. And goes right down like this here. And across. And we fill that in. The number 24 is in there in dark green. That's gonna be nice to do. Perfect. And let's see, the eyes are okay. And the other side. This is the stripe. Starts up here and goes right down. I'm gonna start this way this time. Nice. Okay, now I'm gonna get the red tail lights while I got the while I got the car here. I'm gonna put red lights on the back. Okay, I got some red right here. I'm gonna put four lights. Perfect. And the front lights are actually gray, and there's a gray strip. I'm gonna make um, the area across here gray. I'll do his eyes first in gray, or his um, headlights. Gee, that's the best one I ever did. Okay, Let's see if we can get the other one exactly the same. And there's a gray strip across the front between the lights, but it's not touching the lights. That came nice, guys. And there's actually a, a gray spot in the corner of each side. A triangle shape. Okay, that's really nice. And let's see what else. Um, I can't do much more. I guess I can. I can put the number 24. I think the white's actually dry now, so I'm gonna try putting the 24 in green, dark green, inside the white box. You ready? Here goes. Twenty-four. Wow, that came good. And now I need a white number 24 down here. I'm gonna use a fine, fine brush for that. Okay. See if I can pull this off right here. 24, and then it'll be done, actually. Twenty-four. Wow. That actually came half decent. Okay, now try it again on this side. Twenty-four. Wow, folks, do we have this done now? Is this done? I'm supposed to write Vitaline across the engine hood, but I don't know how that'll turn out. I'm just gonna try and write a few little letters, V-I-T. That's all. And on the back, spoiler, it's supposed to have Vitaline. This be very tiny, right? I can finish that off. V-A-T-O. Well, I guess it's okay. And that's about it. Vitaline. Wow. Well, there it is, folks. This is number 24. Uh, Chase Race Lot. Let's uh, set it up with the rest of the cars and have a look at it. Well, there you have it, folks. We took number 24, Jeff Corvette, and we turned it into number 24 vital line and here's a picture of it before we started and here it is completed and i gotta admit that looks pretty close i know it's not perfect it's a replica die cast homemade version and here's the old car from cars one vital line very close match colors uh thanks for watching everybody and please keep your comments coming i appreciate that and always read your suggestions and mr drippy somebody wanted mr drippy i'm gonna make him out of a Believe it or not, I'm going to make Mr. Drippy out of a Thomas the Train car. Now, I'll give you a hint. I think one of them's name is Merge. Okay, so use your head and see if you can tell me what I'm going to do with that. Thanks for watching, and uh, always leave comments and hit the like and subscribe, please. Hit the subscribe button, and have a great day.